Hi, I'm Scott Sheilar, President and CEO of Construction Ready. Welcome to the Construction Ready podcast, where we work to showcase the amazing career opportunities available in the skilled trades. Here are our hosts, Paulie and Chip Wade. Hey, everybody, Chip and Polly Wade here with another episode of the Construction Ready Podcast. We absolutely love doing these because we get to talk to awesome guests that are in the field or are so connected with the industry, they have a great insight into what's happening. Now, Construction Ready believes that it's super important to raise awareness of all of these amazing career opportunities that are available in the skilled trades. Now, today, we're going to be speaking and joined by Zach Fields. He's the VP of K-12 Education at Construction Ready and currently a temporary educator at Roswell High School, which I'm sure we'll hear a little bit about how all that's going. Uh, but again, he's working so hard to keep education in the skilled trade really strong. Uh, Zach, thanks so much for joining us. Pleasure to be here. Thank you for having me. Yeah, yeah. So typically you're the one like working to set up these programs, to, um, you know, building, bringing skilled um, skill sets into the schools, but you're now teaching a class. Tell us how that transition happened from you creating these programs to actually teaching it. Sure. Well, it's been a, uh, I'm, I'm a former teacher of these programs. And so I have some, some experience, but it's really, it's been seven years and, you know, this is really us jumping in on the front lines to do whatever it takes uh, to provide relentless support to, to these trade programs. So, you know, we just had a situation here, not too far from my home where um, the school year started, the program did not have an instructor at that time. And, you know, this is really, this is an illustration really of a challenge many programs face. And, and we just have a teacher shortage and, mm -hmm. and that's across education, but we also have a skilled trade shortage as well. And so that's really exasperated in the, in, in the skilled trade programs in the public school space and really all spaces from what, from what I hear. Um, and so I was just really worried. We organizationally were worried about the experience the students were having because they couldn't do anything hands on. They had a different substitute teacher every day and a lot of book work. And and, you know, it's just, you know, it's kind of one of those things was, you know, whatever it takes. And and so we jumped in. I started volunteering here at the program and uh, just to provide the students an opportunity to get hands on to experience all the good stuff about our industry and, and the joy of learning a trade. And so, yeah, we're really just stepping in and filling a gap and, but also, you know, organizationally it allows us to stay really close to the front lines and the people we're, we're ultimately serving, which are, which are students. Well, yeah, thank you for stepping into that role. Like you said, like that hands-on is such a critical component. I'm actually excited to find out like, what are your students working on right now? Like what, what are they getting their hands dirty with right now? Well, more than what people might think, these programs uh, cover carpentry, electrical, plumbing, masonry, and, and those all four of those things are going on right now in this program with different groups of students. Some are focusing a full year in one of those trades. Others are getting their first experience trying out those different trades, and we'll try all of those trades this year. And, and we actually were really excited. We're actually adding HVAC wow. to that mix as well. So we're adding a fifth trade obviously in very high demand. We've got employers lined up and, and ready and, and, and really excited. We've got students that are interested in it. And, and so, yeah, we're doing things from very beginner introduction in these areas to advance. They're working off industry plans. Our, our older students that are more experienced are actually assisting and training the younger students and teaching and uh, really operating as a crew uh, within a group like we would in, in our industry. So it's very exciting. And, and I'm seeing those light bulbs go off every day. And it's really encouraging. I'm, I'm excited, but I'm also jealous. I wish <laughs> I had something like this when I was in high school. I, I would have been like the perfect candidate for mm -hmm. someone who would love all of this stuff. I was super fortunate that my father was incredibly hands-on and knew how to do a lot of this stuff. So I kind of had thankfully somebody in my house that was directing me or else I would have never found the love for this the fact that it's in the school system and that you know these these guys and girls can actually walk in and use the time that they're in school to get exposed to some of this and realize that connection 
there's undoubtedly a group of these folks that are like me that are going to love it. So thank you so much for what you're doing there. Um, I guess you also can't really complain about the curriculum too much since you created it, right? <laughs> you just kind of well, be like, man, this is yeah, good stuff. <laughs> well, you know, it's it's definitely an experience where this has been so valuable for us as well because we are you know, directly implementing and carrying out curriculum we've either a developed or curriculum we've yeah. supported for a long time. So that's that's been really helpful. And and to your point, uh, Chip, about the you know just the opportunities and that that these programs provide, and a lot of people looking at this saying, "Hey, I wish I had that in high school." I have heard that so many times from people that have already graduated from this school. Go to a go to a Friday night football game. They hear about the program and they're just saying, "Oh my gosh, where was this?" when I was in school and, and, and we're just, it's just so important. I think it's incredible that it's in the K-12 public education system, which means, you know, it just provides so much access for other students, but we definitely want to get these programs into more schools and, and support the ones that, that are currently in schools. And so if, if our audience is interested, we currently have 200 of these programs, just over 200 of these programs in the state of Georgia with 20,000 students enrolled. And so that's incredible. That's really healthy and strong when you look at it nationally. And uh, it's really a full-time job supporting these programs and, and also uh, leading them in this, this particular case. I'm curious um, what the students themselves are saying about the programs. We are getting so excited, you know, like this whole industry and, our, you know, the parents get excited. But what do the students themselves say about the program? Are they finding it rewarding? They are. They're, they're actually, I'd say one of the, the, the strengths of this program, our students are actually making the connection between the skills they're learning and the opportunities that exist for them, either A, while they're still in high school or beyond high school. They have credit to our industry partners. Our industry has really stepped up in this void as well to get in this classroom, to get in front of students. Our guest Edwin, you know, that was on previously, he's he 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 spent a few days in here with students, and wow. students really responded to what he had to say uh, and and the skills that he's delivering. And so that's what's been unique is our partners are coming in, and not only are they, you know, helping to deliver, you know, really industry relevant skills that students need, but they're also telling them really about life and the industry and how to be successful, all the intangibles that, that I know that we, many people wish this younger generation has, they're learning it here, they're hands-on, the students yeah. are itching to get in the classroom. So I can't get them, I can't, or excuse me, they're itching to get into the shop or the construction lab. So it is, uh, as soon as I say, go ready, break and give the, give the plan for the day, they're off in here. What, what makes it different for them is is really the hands-on component it's not super complicated yeah people learn by doing and in the in a case 12 space that sometimes overemphasizes circling a b c and d this is a breath of fresh air for those students to come in use their their mind and their hands as i say and and they're really they're creating things that are special and and developing lifelong skill sets so they love it uh, i'd say some of the drivers for them right now are they, they are, this generation is much more conscious of student debt than um, I think some generations that came before them. And I, I know this just from, again, I've spent nine, nine and a half years in the high school classroom, and that was seven, seven years ago. And even then, I've noticed a, a big change in how students are viewing taking on debt, um, exp gaining experience while they're in school versus figure it out after has been a big driver for them. And then just knowing that they have they have a lot of different options. And so we, we really have had, we've, we've promoted and supported the technical college system programs. We had the Dean um, of the trade programs from Gwinnett Tech come in here and spend two days framing with these students and telling them about that program. We've got the uh, apprenticeship programs coming in. Atlanta Electrical Contractors Association is coming in this week and we're super excited about that. And then we've got trade contractors. We had a contractor that literally uh, just finished a $35 million Kroger building, a superintendent from Collins and Arnold Construction. He came in and spent an entire week with students, wow. finished that project on a Friday, and he's in here on Monday through Friday the following week. And I just don't know where else you're going to get that valuable of an experience uh, delivered to you in your in your K-12 classroom. So students, students are thrilled, but you got to keep them hands on. That's how they're staying locked in. You know, I mean, it's such a testament that it's a really super smart thing for both the students, but also for potential employers. I mean, students need to be engaged with it, but these employers, I, mean, I talk to them all the time. They're like, where are these people? You know, where do I find them? So, I mean, this is going to be a great broadcast 
for even employers to say, hey, seek out the type of programs that Zach you're doing here and that others are doing all over the place to engage, to get into that classroom, because it is that connection and that comfort level of repeatability of getting some face time and connection and relationship with some of this young talent mm -hmm. uh, as there. And as, I mean, we can see behind them, you got all kinds of stuff going on there from uh, electrical disconnect boxes and we got uh, framed walls and tools and everything. I mean, these brands are going and, and companies are going to see, hey, you know, these guys are really bringing valuable skills and learning much earlier on in the process. Uh, and there's some value to be had on both sides of the coin. So I think you're kind of in the epicenter of where the rubber's hitting the road on both sides, which is absolutely amazing. And it's commendable. Um, thank you for you know, devoting your time and uh, to doing this. It's such a, uh, an awesome, awesome thing. Uh, I'm gonna have to come by and see you sometime. Oh, please do. Tiff. And it's a pleasure <laughs> to do it. Um, it's, you know, it's, it's really good for us. Again, we, we, we love to give back. I love, you know, we're, we're in this whole thing to reach that next generation. And you're right about the contractors having a gold mine right under their nose here. Um, it's right there. Yeah. Yeah. We hear it's, it's really our public school system and in, in career and technical education. And, and we have even, it's gotten so advanced in this space. We literally know how many students that are in the K-12 space that would be, that have an aptitude for this. So there's great uh, student aptitude and interest assessments that go on through K-12 and the numbers are very promising. So it says that 20% of students are a great fit for the skilled trade from an aptitude or interest standpoint. And even better than that, 76% of students are a great fit for one of what they call the construction administration careers that span, you know, the architects, the project managers, the surveyors. And so our message to students and parents is really our industry has a place for everyone. And it's, it's take, take a good look at it because there's, there's a pathway that fits you and a career that fits you. We just have to do our job on this end and allow those appropriate, you know, exploration type activities and somebody to help with the connection point. And, and I'm really proud of construction ready in that space because we've been able to move between industry and education as that, as that intermediary uh, to help build those connections. And so um, contractors, you have a, you have an entire workforce training program under your nose in the public schools. And if you are fortunate enough to be in a community like R the Roswell community, this is where our vertical model ex has originated and exists. And so that is where not only do you have high school students getting training, this training in, in the Roswell community in Fulton County schools goes all the way down to second grade. And there are over a thousand students beneath the high school that are taking construction every single year. And so the fifth graders can measure to the 16th. The, the middle school students are learning the basic systems in a residential wow. home, the plumbing, the masonry. Practical. Pra I mean, I wow. Yeah. Like, yes. <laughs> okay. When yes. Chip and I get to do the elementary workshops, I mean, it like, talk about joy, like, you know, introducing them new skills, but just that joyfulness, uh, you know, those young kids have, um, it's so infectious. And, you know, to be able to to give them applications of the things they're learning, um, it's I, that's one of my favorite things. So I love to see this connection of kind of that vertical model all the way from elementary up to the high school level and then you know, their career placement yeah, set up. amazing. Yeah, the idea is just keep building, meet a kid where they're at, you know, meet them at the Legos and, and the trucks and the blocks, the most popular stations in any, you know, mm -hmm. kindergarten classroom and just let them keep going. And that's what, that's what this model has done. And it's a beautiful thing. Well, Zach, thank you so much for what you're yeah. doing in the classroom uh, and for what you're doing on the development side. Again, if you're just watching this, um, check out construction ready, uh, go to your local, uh, uh, school or figure out where there is a program like this close mm -hmm. to you. And if not, I'm sure that Zach and Construction Ready will help point you all in the right direction. Um, but Zach, thanks so much for joining us today. It's been an absolute pleasure. I would much rather be sitting in your classroom right now than in my office currently today. But I won't stand here very long because I'm going down into my workshop after this uh, to get my hands dirty, which I'm excited about. Um, well, Zach, thank you uh, for joining us, and hopefully we'll get to see you soon. All right. Thank you all. Bye-bye. Thanks, Zach. If you would like more information on Construction Ready and the many programs we have for those interested in the skilled trades, please visit constructionready.org.